I, I've been working with, dealing with dengue for three decades now. So I'm reasonably well experienced in dealing with dengue and also with other vector-borne disease. I've been working with malaria, leishmania, um, chikungunya as well, well before Zika. And now came Zika at a time when I was considering retire. And then I start to see that babies with microcephaly, and then I said to myself, no, it's not, it's not time to stop. We must be involved in that. And I know Annalise, our leader, since 2005, I met her first time in Singapore, and since then we have been working together, most uh, of the time with dengue. And I think that we have designed a model that can be useful, either for decision makers to develop and design control strategies and to assess the impact of those strategies, or also calculating the risk for travelers from the infected uh, country. And now we are doing a similar job with Zika because it's, it's so similar to dengue that um, a lot of models that have been developed for dengue can be easily ad adapted now. Yeah. And also because I'm sure this is um, an emergency public health problem. It's a tragedy to our country.